Hey Sagittarius, this is Sunny, and this is your monthly for the month of May 2015. So, um, I do feel like this month is going to be a pretty good month for a lot of you. Um, you guys may, uh, be represented with some new opportunities. Um, however, a lot of you, you may be in La La Land and you may wish too much to the point where you create this whole big fantasy and set out plan of how things are going to be in detail like just be careful about that especially if it doesn't go your way or if it's not as good as you thought it would be okay the emperor card talks about setting some rules and boundaries within certain situations it's time for you to stand up tall and go after what you believe in um very grounding aura from this card so a lot of you you may have some capricorn in you um yeah, honestly, just being in charge. But don't try to control stuff. The Queen of Cups talks about you listening to, uh, trusting your intuition and listen to it as well. Don't be so focused in on, like, this imagine like imaginary world. Um, you need to heal yourself from any situations, and you can do this by setting those rules, no, like setting those uh, boundaries and order to uh, certain rules of your life. Also, there may be someone of the water sign. This could be Cancer, um, Scorpio, and Pisces. Also, this could be an Aquarius. Um, this person is very intuitive and they wanna see you happy. Um, however, I get a sense that they are waiting on you for something and they may get really frustrated with you. So please be careful about that. Five of Pentacles, please understand that help is on the way. A lot of you, you may feel very abandoned by certain people. Also, your finances may not look too hot for you, but I really feel like within five weeks, so about June-ish, things will get a little bit better for a lot of you. The Strength card talks about you moving away from any past obstacles and... um. Pretty much you're walking away from past situations. I really do feel like you guys are looking at your relationships from another point of view. And you're trying to grow from, from your experiences. But it may get a little bit tricky for you because I feel like a lot of you, you do have a lot on your plate. And you want to impress a lot of people that you kind of forget about yourself. And a lot of you, like you may lack some emotional bond within some close relationships in your life um so be careful about that please be careful about that like do what's best for you like if you want to focus more on yourself or focus more on trying to establish a, a fruitful relationship with those who you feel disconnected with is honestly it depends upon you and the other person yeah, but it's going to be pretty tricky, honestly. I'm not going to lie. The Ten of Wands talks about some tricky situations for a lot of you. You're trying to move forward, but you feel blocked. And you feel as if you are taking a lot of risk. However, if you're trying to walk away from any um, tricky and hurtful situations, it's, this will be good for you, but you're very scarred and wounded. And you aren't really accepting the change of having to move forward. You're still trying to stick it in there and, you know, be there for people. But honestly, it's time for you to think about you. Like, it is. It's, if you are in a relationship and the person isn't, like, really helping you out or they're not really showing you emotional support, it's time for you to, like, let them go. And focus on healing yourself and your foundation. The Four of Pentacles talks about you still holding on to the past. Also, your finances uh, may be a little bit tight for some of you. This is underneath the um, Emperor card, and this talks of setting rules and boundaries towards your past issues and setting a budget within your finances. It's time for change. It really is time for change, so please do that. The Six of... Mm -mm, no. The Six of Cups talks about some really good blessings when it comes to your intuition. So please listen to that. And this would be a good time to focus on your kids 
and find out what your kids really want. Also, this is underneath the Queen of Cups. So some really good blessings when it comes to this relationship uh, with this water sign or this air sign person for that matter. This person, like, they're really intuitive and they give you really good advice. Um, But I really do feel like this uh, person who's intuitive and they give you advice, they may be tired of playing house with you. Like, there's a sense of, like, childish relationships going on, and they're like, look, do you want me, yeah or no? Because I'm kind of getting tired of waiting for you, and I'm just tired of doing all this and that for you. You don't want them to leave, but you, I don't know, you're giving them reasons to leave, honestly, because I really do feel like they're waiting on you, but you're just still holding on to past memories and past what-ifs. So, be careful about that, okay? The Nine of Pentacles talks about your desire for um, independence and your desire for better home life and finances. This is underneath the Five of Pentacles. So, like I said, a lot of you, like your finances will get better, but you are just really going to have to ground yourself and really think about your foundation and pretty much start from scratch. Like I said, set up rules and boundaries. Uh, for a better life uh, and, and within many aspects of your life that you know seems really rocky for a lot of you so please focus on your foundations please do that but it's gonna be okay just stop um stop letting like tough uh past situations like overcome your present like that's not cool Oh my God, what? The Seven of Pentacles talks about you may be focusing on one thing too much and it's causing you to forget about everything else that's, in, that's important. Um, also, you may want a better job and you want your finances to get better. This is underneath the Strength card and it's looking at the Nine of Pentacles. So it's time for you to let your past go because your past is really blocking you from a lot. It's time for you to gain the strength and courage to do what you need to do to move forward within your life. Um, if you want to, a new job will be very beneficial for you. But I would suggest for you to do this. I would suggest for you to put out job applications seven weeks from now. Um, I had a spirit like knock on my wall. So I guess they're like, yeah, talk about that. Because I felt a positive vibe when I felt them or when I heard them knock. So seven weeks from May. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, about mid June. Seek uh for new job opportunities uh, mid June because I I think Mercury may be retrograding in May, and we all know how that is. So please be careful about that, okay? But honestly, it's time for you to let your past stay in the past. Ten of, no, not ten of wands. No, I want to say ten of swords. But the ten of swords, you want a fresh start, but you feel defeated and you feel like a doormat. A lot of you are being used and you know it, but you're still staying in certain situations because you're so used to it. So let it go. The page of wands talks about some, you like your desire for hopeful energy and you want to receive some good news. A lot of you, you may receive some good news involving your work life, um, sense of a possibility that you could move up within your life or this could just, I feel like this is more of things that you're very passionate about and finding out more of you. I feel like this page of wands could represent you guys. If not, this could represent one of your kids who may be of the fire sign as well. Or... Just um, a young-minded person who's going to give you hope and security some way, somehow. So, you're going to receive a message very soon. And this is going to open up your heart to many new blessings and new opportunities. But your overall energy for this month? Ooh, feeling powerless. You really don't know what to do. You don't know what to turn. And this ties into you guys letting the past get the best of you. And you are blocked from really seeing what you're supposed to see. It's like you see it, but you don't want to believe it. Like, especially if you, like, if people keep telling you, like, hey, your, your wife is cheating on you. Your wife is doing that. And you notice how, like, she's never home or she's dressing different 
or like she's buying new stuff and it's just like oh well maybe she wants to look nice for me but she's never home you know like you know it but you don't but you don't want to believe it so please don't set yourself up for failure and don't hurt yourself because you want to stay in situations that were once good and now they're not because like i said you're still holding us to past memories and past hopes and past puppy loves so please be careful about that because this is really causing you guys to like be a cuckoo la la land. So be careful about that. But your over no your subconscious energy for this month. Mm, yeah, a lot of disagreements, things scattered all over the place. You're trying to find leadership within uh, obstacles, but it's very hard for you, especially when other people are involved. Um, I really feel like this is involving your family life and your work life. Your work life is, uh, is okay, but honestly, family life is really uh, sticking out to me the most. So family life is going to, and like, your, uh, pretty much anything under your household, like your family, your found, not your foundation, your finances. Oh my God, I, I want to go to sleep. But yeah, because your finances, like... There's potential for growth, but it's just overall, it's just like a lot of bills piling up and, you know, you may not have enough money and you want more money and you're letting other people and things like blindsight you from seeing what you need to see. Please set rules and boundaries uh, to things that does not make sense. Be careful that you aren't hurting this uh, water sign or this um, air sign person for that matter, but... Honestly, I feel like if you've known this water or this air sign person for some time, like years and years, you need to stop beating around the bush with them. However, if someone new who are um, a water or an air sign, if they do come into your life, um, this could be a good, a good love, but it, it may be more of puppy love and it may be like short-lived because i really do feel like timing is off for a lot of you when it comes to your love life and like i said um mercury retrogrades this month so yeah don't start anything new for real for real so i'm a good one for this month you guys like oh my god yeah honestly step one just set rules and boundaries and know what you need to handle and don't let you know, other situations, like, get the best of you. Because I really do feel like you guys are being influenced, like you are. And you may not think that you are, but honestly, but, oh my God, but honestly, you are. So, please take care of yourself, okay? And take care of your family and the people who help you out. But you have a good one this month, okay? And I'll see you guys next month. Bye, Sagittarius.